it was somewhere in the month of February this year that Mr. Manak Jain, our promoter, had got together the entire body of uh, the SP, the senior program, and did a whole session on 21st century skills. And I think it resonated well with the parent body and the entire community that we want to take this forward because we want to take learning from, uh, you know, within a certain textbook and a certain room and make it far more wider and actually make them lifelong learners. So I think Kaledo is the perfect uh, platform for that and we are really very very glad and I see this as a long term association where we go from strength to strength and make it so organic to our curriculum that you know one cannot imagine doing an international program without really working with these wonderful modules. A lot of pointers on you know how to identify a correct research question, what actually counts as research. And, uh -huh. like that. and then we also learned a bit about you know how to put forward your arguments and like how arguments are actually made, they're just not random statements. Back to the uh, extended essay or any POK essay, right? Do you, do it's still yeah, yeah, it's still argumentation that's involved mm -hmm. because your essay isn't something that's generic. It's about you taking a stand and like you know expressing your stand through the essay. Yeah. So I think over there, what we learned about argumentation comes into play. And okay. Maybe huh. because when we are debating systems, we have to you know have arguments supporting the system we are actually you know watching for in case we are actually having this one more one thing mm -hmm. about say communism, socialism, and all that. So basically the hasty generalization fallacy is pretty common in such, in such a situation what happens is that if, uh, if we, uh, can I give an example? Of course, please. Okay, all right. So uh, for example, if you say that uh, you know the sun rays causes cancer then going to the beach itself causes cancer. If one person got cancer just by going to the beach it would just be like going to the beach is bad. That's like having a hasty generalization. So it's it's not really accurate, it's just a fallacy. So why is it a fallacy? It's a fallacy because it's not really true. It's just that they've made an assumption without any proper evidence. You can't make an assumption with just like one sorry, one person. If there are like a data of a lot of people getting sick cancer just by going to the beach. Another example of this is uh, for brown people, uh, they can say everyone has a yes. That's another example. So maybe racism is a fallacy? Racism in and of itself is a fallacy. Yeah, so in psychology, <laughs> uh, uh, the aim of an experiment is to have a relation between the independent and dependent variable. So it's very easy for researchers to get carried away and just say that if there is a causation involved, then actually it's just a correlation.